partner is for those people who have been together but uh they don't want to get married and then a spouse permit is for married married couples so the lifetime partner permit becomes very difficult to uh, to prove that you guys have been together for more than five years because with this permit you need to be together for a minimum of five years for you to get the permit so you just don't get married today and then tomorrow you can acquire your spouse permit you have to be together for at least five years for you to qualify for a spouse permit what is good to gang it is your girl t welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please don't be shy to smash the subscribe button down below turn on your post notifications to get notified every time i post a video baby guys today i am here with a plug i'm here with a very educational video a video that is going to help you out if you are in your process or if you're trying to or if you're questioning yourself on how to acquire permanent residency in south africa so there are 10 ways that you can qualify for a permanent residency in south africa so here is the list the first way you can acquire permanent residency in South Africa is through a business permit. Now to get a business permit, you firstly need to acquire a business visa and then you can upgrade to a business permit. So a business permit is usually for investors and there are three categories that you have to meet to get your business visa. The first one is you have to or you must be in the process or you must be willing to invest 5 million rands or above. The second one is you need to have a registered business. Uh, all the paperwork should be in order. Uh, everything should be in order for you to qualify for a business visa. And then the last category is that you need to have a workforce of 60% of South Africans or permanent resident holders. So those are the three categories you need to meet in order to acquire a business visa. So when you have a business visa, you can then apply for a business permit. And the requirements for these two are more or less the same. And then the second way you can acquire permanent residency in South Africa is through a work permit. A work permit is divided into four. You have your intra-company transfer. This one is the only one that is excluded of the four that you cannot upgrade to a permanent resident permit if you have an intra-company transfer. And then the other three are corporate visa for corporate companies. And then the second one is a general work permit. And then the last one is a critical skills visa. Now, a critical skills visa is something that I would like to talk about on a separate video. Um specifically focusing on critical skills visa because it's no longer the same from how it was before they made a few changes to it so previously we would know that you can get a critical skills visa if you're job hunting maybe after graduating um you get your one year critical skills visa so that they allow you to go job hunting because you know most companies in south africa if you don't have a work permit they find it hard to employ you before you can present your work permit so they want a work permit and then they can employ you so previously they would give you a critical skills visa for you to go job hunting to make it easier for you to get jobs with a permit and then you can renew it once you get a job but unfortunately now they changed it now you don't get that one year critical skills visa they only give it to you if you have five years of experience in a critical skill so now this makes it very very difficult for foreign graduates to work in south africa even if you studied a critical skill because now they want five years of experience so how then do you get the visa if you are straight from um university so it makes it very difficult for foreign graduates to now go into the working field then another way of acquiring permanent residence in south africa is through a spouse which is a spouse permit or a lifetime partner permit so these two are uh, almost have like the same requirements so lifetime partner is for those people who have been together but uh they don't want to get married and then a spouse permit is for married married couples so the lifetime partner permit becomes very difficult to uh, to prove that you guys have been together for more than five years because with this permit you need to be together for a minimum of five years for you to get the permit so you just don't get married today and then tomorrow you can acquire your spouse permit 
you have to be together for at least five years for you to qualify for a spouse permit lifetime partner same thing you need to be together for five years and you need to provide proof that you guys have been together for five years then you can qualify for this permit then another way of acquiring permanent residence in South Africa is if you are a child who's under 21 years and you're a child of a South African citizen or a permanent resident a permit holder, then you qualify to also apply for a permanent resident permit in South Africa. Then the other one is refugee status. So if you're a refugee uh, and you've been a refugee consistently in South Africa, um, then you do qualify to um, apply for permanent residency in South Africa. And then the next way you can qualify for a permanent resident permit in South Africa is through the retirement permit. So what is a retirement permit? Let's say you've been working in South Africa for years and years and years. And now maybe you are on a pension, you are, rece you are receiving your pension fund. So you need to be in South Africa for you to receive your pension funds. So if you leave the country, you won't be able to get your pension funds. You are eligible to apply for permanent residence in South Africa because you need to be in South Africa in order to for you to receive your pension funds. So these funds they should be a consistent of thirty seven thousand rand a month uh, that is coming into your account uh, for them to uh, grant you the permanent residence in South Africa. Then the next way you can qualify for a permanent residence in South Africa is through the relative permit. Now, this is if you are first of kin of someone who's all who's in, in position of a permanent resident resident permit in South Africa. When I say first of kin, I mean your immediate family. So if you are a child of someone who holds a permanent resident permit, you can apply for a permanent resident permit. If you if your mother or father is, is in possession of a permanent resident permit, then you can also apply. If you have a permanent resident permit and you want one for your child, then you can apply for them. This does not include your spouse, this does not include your uncles and aunts because now it's going to cause a lot of havoc if you can apply a PR um, under your uncle, under your aunt. So this is to maintain order. So it needs to be your immediate family, which is your mother or your father or your child. And then the last way you can acquire a permanent residence permit in South Africa is through the financial independent permit. Now this is for rich people. I This is um, for rich people because you need to prove to the government of South Africa that your net worth is 12 million or more. And then you need to pay 120,000 a fee uh, on approval of your application and this is non-refundable. So the financial independent uh, permit is for really, really, really rich people who have money, who are doing well in life. So if you know you are worth a 12 million, then you can come in South Africa, you can apply for a permanent resident permit. So you guys, I hope this video was very helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If it was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. If you're coming past this channel for the very first time, please leave a subscribe please comment on my videos please share the video with your family and friends and i'll see you guys in my next video bye